Hi, this is Jim with AskMyOnSiteGeek.com, bringing you another quick tip video. Today's quick tip answers three questions posed by Sharon. Number one, how much vibration can a disk drive endure? Number two, is a hard drive crash from vibration seen immediately, or can it be cumulative? And number three, could one month of blasting at a construction site 400 feet away be enough to damage a disk drive? You can visit callmyonsitegeek.com to view other quick tip videos. Thank you for the question, Sharon. We're really dealing with two different issues with these questions. Number one, how much shock? And number two, how much vibration can a disk drive endure? Both shock and vibration are measured in g-force, or g's. Technically, we're dealing with a measure of acceleration, not force. The distinction between shock and vibration has more to do with the time frame of the acceleration and deceleration. A shock force is an abrupt, discrete application of force, such as dropping a hard drive on the floor or tipping over the computer. In this case, the hard drive experiences a brief but large shock force. With shock, the primary factor is the magnitude of the force. A vibration force is a much lower application of force over a much longer period of time. The primary factors are the frequency of the force and the length of time the force is applied. With vibration, relatively low g-force can be damaging if it is at the resonant frequency of the device. Even then, any damage would require sustained vibration at the resonant frequency for an extended period of time. It gets a little more complicated than this. You have different shock and vibration specifications for both unpowered or non-operating states and powered or operating states. As expected, the shock and vibration specifications in the unpowered states that are experienced, for example, when shipping the drive from the manufacturer to the stores are, high, are much higher than the shock and vibration specs for a drive operating under normal conditions in the computer. Non-operating shock and vibration are 350 G's and 5 G's respectively. Operating shock and vibration specs under normal operating conditions are generally listed as 63 G's and 0.5 G's respectively for shock and vibration. Hard drives are designed to operate on average roughly four years under normal operating conditions. To put it in perspective, hard disk drives are designed to withstand forces that would likely kill humans. You can see a good analogy of a shock wave by dropping a rock in a calm pool. The largest wave is in the immediate vicinity of the rock. The ripples drop off considerably as you move out from the center of impact. The shock wave 10 feet from the center of impact is much smaller than the initial shock wave. Here is a practical example of the ability of today's hard disk drives to endure shock and vibration. Disk drives have become increasingly more common as data storage drives in today's automobiles. These drives experience both shock and vibration on a regular basis. Vibration due to the engine and road conditions is almost continuous. The shock due to speed bumps and potholes are relatively common. Shock tends to be a bigger concern for a disk drive because the abrupt nature of the shock can be enough for the disk drive heads to come in physical contact with the surface of the rotating disks. Disk drives are designed to withstand these conditions for years. More than likely, the disk drive in question was already starting to fail. The blasting done nearby likely had very little effect on the disk drive. A good source of information on construction and blasting safety is the International Risk Management Institute at www.irmi.com. You can search the website for blasting or blasting safety. You might also ask the construction company if they have a pre-blast survey. The pre-blast survey is designed to identify issues and concerns and help the company reduce risk prior to blasting. 
If you have any other questions when you're sitting at your computer, please visit AskMyOnSiteGeek.com and ask your question. I will respond with either an audio or video quick tip to answer your question. You can also view additional quick tip videos and audios at callmyonsitegeek.com. This is Jim, keeping track of your IT landscape so you don't have to.